let's say it's Valentine's Day and you have to remind him that it's Valentine's Day. He no longer cares, you're about to get done. Wedding bells are ringing and you've only met him once. You've got a crush. A crush is when you can't stop thinking about somebody and you're completely infatuated with them, but you barely even know them. Like you've kind of psyched yourself up to thinking that like, oh no, he would never go out with me. So what you do is you just like obsess over them from afar. We all act a little different when we're around a crush. Something you might do uh, when you have a crush on somebody, verbal diarrhea. Ah, hi, mm, hello. And it's just like, you don't sound like that. You know how to say hello. You know, you're like, what? I saw you at that party. It was crazy that you went to that, because it's not, you know, I, not that you wouldn't go to that party. Like, you'd probably, you go to any party. Play with my hair, all sorts of every, hair everywhere. I start shaving more. Not that you're at party. Party fiend. What's that? But it, it's not a, it's not a, it's not a disease. All right. So you've tried everything to try and get your crush's attention. Should you just tell him? I say, if you just want to hook up, yes. <laughs> but if you're like, I have a crush on you and I love you and I want to be with you forever, that's don't do that. The only time you should tell anyone about your crush is if you know your crush might kind of like you, because otherwise you're gonna look desperate and thirsty. Like, you don't want that. It can start with innocence and end in lust. We're flirting. The techniques for being a good flirt, lean in towards him when you're talking to him, laugh at everything he says, even though you know it's not funny, and maybe whisper something in his ear, very playful, like, how big is your I always resort to, like, playground games, like anything you would do as a kid, like that game Slaps, you know, where you put your hands on top and they're like, Psh. Like that to me is like, oh, look at us touching hands. When a dude flirts with you, sometimes you don't even realize it because you're too busy being self-conscious. And he really likes you, but you're like, how could he really like me? He likes you. If he's like touching you, he likes you. If he's not, you know, unless you're bleeding and he's trying to help you. When it's good, it can be great. But when it's bad, it's bad. Kissing is definitely one of those things where practice makes perfect. I learn how to kiss by Practicing on my arm, like everybody else, right? It's your boyfriend, okay? And he wants to come out and play, and he's hot. Yes, Nicole, I love you. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you have a body? And then, you know, you go through this period where you like practice on watermelons. I would practice on the inside of my arm a lot. And I have a friend who I always catch still doing that, who is 30. I made out with everything in my room when I was younger. I made out with the mirror a lot. I made out with my arm, I made out with my pillow. I made out with my teddy bears. I suggest practicing on the shower tiles because then there's sort of like a natural moisture from the shower. No one's gonna like barge in on you. Shh. Give us a minute. I think the general attitude of bad kissing is just, you know, this person's just trying to take over my mouth. You just think that you're just supposed to put your tongue in there. No. Not all the way down there. It's always awkward when your teeth touch each other, when you bang the teeth, and then you can't come back from that. It's like you have to stop immediately. He sucked my whole bottom lip, and there was just saliva all under here, and to where you kind of just got to go. <laughs> No one wants to see this after they make out. That's what you do after you eat a sandwich. Like, the, after you have like a corned beef sandwich, you wipe your face. I shouldn't have to do this. If I have to do this after we kiss, then it's a no-go, homie. It's not gonna happen again. My least favorite kiss is like the kiss where you can't, you're not, not on the same page. Like, you can't line up your faces right. You know Tetris, like when the piece, it's right here, but you can still move it to make it. That's how my nose and her nose and face met. It was like, bang, 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 bang. Oh, OK, we're in. We're in now. <laughs> Most important thing, though, is to floss your teeth. Stop kissing people with dirty ass teeth. No one wants to taste your halitosis. Girl code. If you really like a guy and he's a terrible kisser, tell him, hey, um, maybe don't drool in my mouth. Just maybe a fourth of that. I was like, oh, you should use a little bit less tongue. And he was like, OK. But he didn't care. He was just happy that I was willing to make out with him. If you're kissing a guy and he sucks, you should just stop kissing him and be like, can we just watch TV? And he'll get it. He'll get it. Everything in moderation. Tongue, drool, hands. Keep it simple. There are plenty of fish in the sea, but make sure you don't reel in a catfish when you date online. 
Online dating is completely normal. It used to be creepy and like you didn't know who was really on it, but now everyone does it. Like I think that you should online date a lot. Don't let catfish fool you. Catfish is just all the degenerates of our society that MTV has pulled together to try to scare us away from online dating. But online dating is a beautiful thing. I have just recently agreed to venture into the online dating universe. It's weird. It's a weird place. It's okay to tell little lies on your profile, but make sure that it's nothing too crazy. Don't brag about how nice and big your house is if you forget to mention that it's filled with your entire family. Don't post any fake pictures and don't Photoshop your pictures. Like adding a filter, cool. Photoshop, not cool. If you're gonna make an online profile, you should try to make it a little mysterious. Don't like tell everything about yourself. Then you'll have nothing to talk about. You know, you could put religious views, I'll tell you later. Political views, I'll tell you later. Gender, I'll tell you later. The biggest mistake you can make while you're online dating is sending a guy your full name and phone number like immediately, like on the first time you contact him. I guess girl code for contacting a guy that's contacted you is don't be annoying. You can't message the way your brain thinks. Cause you message and you don't hear right away. Does he like, why does he like me? I mean, he can look at my profile. Why is he messaging me back? Maybe I should just send him another message. Maybe he didn't get the message. He got the message. Send it and breathe. They don't just happen in the movies, but they are just as terrifying in real life. Booty calls. A booty call makes me feel wanted. Oh, God! <laughs> that was the saddest sentence in all of America that's been said today. If you're like a Tuesday booty call, that's embarrassing. You can't even save me for the weekends. Like, who are you calling on the weekends? Ask The better the text, the fewer the letters. So if you can say like, H-I, hi, what up, but it'd be like W, U, T, and then just an arrow up. And that's how you know, like, no emotions. You might have one true love, but you should always feel free to play the field. Maybe you think your type is like firefighter, but hey, maybe you've never dated a policeman. It's so much fun. Cause it's like, oh, he didn't text me? Oh, he did, ah, I don't even care. I'm not responsible for any of you mother Break down those barriers. You can also text someone, hook up with someone, meet someone for drinks, you know, maybe meet a guy for drinks and then go meet another guy for drinks afterwards because the first guy was super boring and talked about how he loved Jeopardy the whole time. Sometimes I think it gets hard to juggle multiple guys because like, what if you like double, double book and then you like have to run from one date to the next date and then you have a real rom-com moment where they find out and then you're like, oh no. Yeah, it's hard. There's all these text messages. Sometimes you don't save someone's name and then you're texting one guy one thing that you meant to text the other guy. I've done this many times where I thought I didn't tell this guy the exact same story because I thought I told it to the other guy. Anyways, long story short, just tell them all the same lies on the same day. And that's how you keep up with it. I go look through the conversation to make sure I know who I'm talking about because I send wrong text messages to people all the time. So I'll go look at the conversation and make sure I'm talking to the right person before I send the text. If you don't make it a thing, he won't make it a thing. It's kind of like kids. They don't know they hurt themselves until you do the <gasps> It's definitely important to communicate with the guys about what your intentions are, especially if you really just don't want a relationship and you just want to be free. Like, let them know that. I wouldn't go into too much detail about the other guys I'm dating. Like, I wouldn't be like, oh my God, James is so funny. I mean, you're funny too, but James is like really funny. Cause that's weird. And then it's like, why aren't you just hanging out with James? Okay, Pablo's feeling a little bit jealous right now. No, you have to do the same thing that guys do with us, which is like, yeah, this was really fun. You can't be like, check out all these other people that I'm gonna have sex with later in my phone. <laughs> We're chill. We're chill, right? We're good. You can play around with all these men, play the field, but when you like one guy, special, special. And you can bring him in front of your friends because that's the key to everything. If you can bring them in front of your friends, your friends like them, and that's the one you keep. It's time to release the other ones. And by release, I mean ignore their texts and ghost away. Hey, where are you? Hey, are you busy? What happened? Ghost away. It's that four letter word that we're all a sucker for. L-O-V-E. If you tell a guy that you love him and he doesn't say anything back, just wait. Don't go into super panic overdrive. Just give it a moment. 
maybe he's just not ready. That's the thing, if you wanna say you love somebody, you have to be prepared for them not to say it back to you. And you should be prepared, because if you love that person, it shouldn't be contingent upon whether or not they love you back. Girl cow. There are plenty more fish in the sea, but right now your best bet is to dive into that tub of ice cream because you just got dumped. Being dumped is when the person that you're dating breaks up with you. That just means your services are no longer required. You're throwing me out like you're throwing out trash. And I'm not trash. I'm beautiful. It's like you. It's like deep down I know you because we've been dating. I know who you are. I see you. I see your soul. And I don't want any of it. For me, getting down to always just ends in a restraining order. Ladies, there are signs that he is about to dump you. And you need to pick up on these signs. Just when you feel neglected, it's coming. The dumping is about to happen. Let's say you've planned a dinner and he shows up an hour and a half late. He no longer cares. You're about to get dumped. If a guy is withdrawing a lot, you know, he's not as uh, affectionate. I think that's his way of saying, hey, and I'm, I'm not acting like your boyfriend, so just break up with me. Let's say it's Valentine's Day and you have to remind him that it's Valentine's Day. He no longer cares, you're about to get dumped. Another warning sign is that he starts hanging out with his friends who are girls who have bigger boobs. You're going in for surgery and he sends you a get well soon card, hope you feel better. Honey, oh. you're about to get dumped. We all have a little trouble reading between the lines. So what's a girl to do when things get all blurry? It's Ask Girl Code. How do you know when a guy is truly over you? When you have to write into girl code and ask, how do you know when a guy is truly over you? Whatever guy you're asking about, honey, he's over you. Sorry. I found out the hard way that a guy was over me because he left the country and called me from the airport and was like, by the way, I'm leaving. Thanks for the warning. He avoids you. He doesn't want to really hang out with you. He's always busy. Obviously, I know this very well. Learn from me, the signs are right there. He's not that into you. It sucks. Just let him go. Erase his number from your phone. Find a new buddy. Girl code.